Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 13. March 13th is the 72nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, or the 73rd day in a leap year, and there are 293 days remaining until the end of the year. For our word today, I'm going to throw you a change up. Instead of a toss pot word, today's word is triskaidekaphobia, which is fear or avoidance of the number 13. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes and ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others so that your friends know what you know. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1639 when Harvard College was named after the clergyman John Harvard. On March 13, 1781, William Herschel discovered the planet Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun. This was the first discovery of a new planet to be made in modern times and also the first to be made by use of a telescope, which allowed him to distinguish Uranus as a planet rather than a star. Tsar Alexander II was assassinated in St. Petersburg, Russia on March 13, 1881. There's a squirrel running across my neighbor's roof. This is the birthday of American cartoonist Al Jaffe, born March 13, 1921. He's probably best known for his cartoons in Mad Magazine. Still alive, he turns 99 in 2020. There's a tiny little spider on my window. I'm going to try to stay out of her way. News of the discovery of Pluto was announced by Lowell Observatory on March 13, 1930. On March 13, 1942, the Quartermaster Corps, QMC, of the United States Army began training dogs for the newly established War Dog Program, or Canine Corps. They started out with a bunch of different kinds of dogs, but eventually kind of tuned it in to just a few breeds, including but not limited to German Shepherds, Doberman Pinschers. They used Collies for a bit, and I know there were a couple other kinds, but I didn't write it down, so. And of course, all of those breeds of dogs have different temperaments and skill sets, shall we say. <laughs> Eric Clapton left the Yardbirds on March 13, 1965. On March 13, 1969, Apollo 9 returned safely to Earth after testing the lunar module. And that's all I've got for you today. As always, links to my research is included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this if you found this video entertaining or informative. While you're here, check out my other channel, 8 Susquehanna. There's a link in the show notes to that. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Okay, we gotta make that go to sleep. We'll do that in a minute. And yeah, we'll probably leave that part out. <laughs> so many mistakes. We're not gonna go into all that, okay. I don't know how all that's gonna go together or if it's even gonna make it to the video, we'll just see. That's not gonna go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> That might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>